Welcome to Store Manager. This tutorial gives you a brief overview of Store Manager. Please watch other tutorials for more detailed information on specific topics. Store Manager helps you to manage your online business quickly and effectively. You get an easy access to all stores' important data that you use often, like detailed information about products you sell, your customers and their orders. All information is organized in tables, while drag and drop technology makes it easy to use. Also, you can make much changes to your products, their prices or any other data with few clicks only. You can get an overall picture of your sales with the help of various reports. So, with Store Manager you get the perfect tool to manage any data, perform sales analysis, thus making your store flexible and up to date. Now let's try to find out how it works. First of all, let's have a look at the general layout of Store Manager. As in any other window application, you can access features using Main Menu and get some information from Title Bar and Status Bar. However, Store Manager makes it even easier to find the features you need with the help of Sidebar. Main Menu is used to access all features and options available in Store Manager. Click on any of the main menu headings to bring up the list of items. Most of them are used to open the corresponding page of Store Manager in the work area. We'll run over its content later. One of the most important main menu headings is Tools. It allows you to switch between languages of the application, create a database backup or restore one, import export data, Manage store access, perform database compatibility test, get a post data through bridge if one is used, change application language, switch between your stores, and manage preferences. Finally, window views and help information is listed in the end of main menu bar. So let's find out how this window application works. When you open page in the work area using main menu item or sidebar icon, you'll see the appropriate page opened in the work area. But you can see only the last one, so when you click on window menu you'll see a list of pages that are opened now. They all can be arranged like you wish, horizontally or vertically. You can switch between them, you can minimize, maximize, close pages using corresponding window menu commands or appropriate buttons at the top right hand corner of each page. We made it easy to find the right kind of help when you need it. Just click on Help menu to access software documentation, articles, support forum, home commercial services, to request a feature, to request a problem, to register application, to find tips and tricks, to check for updates, and to find more information about the application. As we already told, some of the main menu items are duplicated in the sidebar. If you wish, you can hide sidebar or bring it back out anytime. Let's have a look at the content itself and learn more about the main features of Store Manager. To begin, you can open the Categories and Products page from the Catalog drop-down using either main menu or sidebar. To the left, you see the list of categories and subcategories sorted in the alphabetical order. Or you can use your own sort order as well. At the top of this section there is a categories toolbar that allows you to add, edit, delete, import, export, expand or collapse the category tree. You can use helpful hints to find out the functionality of any option. At the bottom you can see category image if one is used. You can hide this section or bring them back out anytime. Now let's select any category from your list. To the upper right you can see the list of products including all their information organized in tables. Above you can see the toolbar with all basic and some extended options. You can call them using context menu as well. Use helpful hints to find out the functionality of any option. You can arrange the way your products are displayed using filter by selected category or show all grouped. It is very easy to make much changes to your products using such mode. 
While you're in show all grouped mode, you can use drag and drop technology to arrange the view of your products. Just drag the column header and drop it here. You can expand collapse your category by double clicking on it or using expand collapse buttons. There is also a possibility to build a category tree using this filter type. Let's say you want your products grouped by category and each category by different price. Then simply drag price header into the gray field and drop it behind category field. When you bring your column header back, it will be placed between the columns where you drop it. To the lower right, you can see the product image and product attributes section. You can hide these sections or bring them back out anytime. At the products attribute section, you can see the list of products attributes. Right above you can see the toolbar with all basic and some extended options. You can call them using context menu as well. Basically, a specific value of some option is an attribute. Now let's run our products options and values page. Here you can manage data at optional level, where options appear as folders marked in blue and values are listed after expanding an option. This data is used when creating and editing product attributes. The next is Product Manufacturers page, where you can see the list of manufacturers. You can add, edit and delete them using toolbar or context menu. At the bottom you can see manufacturers in for and image. Feature Products page allows you to configure appearance of current product in the list of featured items. It doesn't automatically feature products at the store, but makes it available in featured list. On special products page you can configure appearance of a product in the list of special items. Special products page will be available if you have special products contribution installed, otherwise your special products icon will be grayed out. Excel products feature simplifies task of creating related products. Online store can have products related to each other. Let's say a customer wants to buy a cell phone, most likely one would like to purchase a charging device, memory card and a car kit along with it. Excel products will be available if you have Excel products contribution installed, otherwise your Excel products icon will be grayed out. Customers and orders section is dealing with sales management and products circulation. Both customers and orders section of store manager allow you to see your customers and orders lists and to perform basic and some extended actions. Customers and orders management with store manager is really simple. Please watch other tutorials for more detailed information on these topics. Discount coupon page helps you to manage customers discounts really fast. You see the list of coupons at the top and the coupon rating track at the bottom. Now what about reports? As you know, it is important to stay up to date with the overall performance of the business. Report section allows the store owner to view information about customers' behavior on the website. You can generate default or custom reports. In order to use marketing tool section, you need to have an AdWords account. This section contains a product AdWords wizard that helps you to create a complete campaign. Location and taxes section allows you to manage your countries, zones, tax zones, tax classes and tax rates in one place, thus saving your time. Currencies and exchange reference rates tabs help you to stay up to date especially if you have multinational store. To use content management section you need to have some contact management system installed at your store. Content can include documents, articles, images or any other information that you would like to publish. And finally, advanced section was designed for users with the above average skills. Please do not make any modifications if you are not. We hope this guide gives you a brief introduction into store manager. It is by no means a comprehensive guide to all the store manager can do, but covers enough to allow you to look through it. We wish you success in your e-business, and thank you for being with us this far.